Hi everyone, my name is Tristan from Plastic on Plastics. Today I'm gonna to share with you a little bit of a story uh, with one of the clients we've worked with in the past. So a lot of you might recognize Lush on our website and some of the products we produce. That's because we produce uh, much of the plastic products uh, used for Lush. Now Lush is a cosmetic company and they're known for their iconic uh, black pods that they use for a lot of their different lotions. The reason why they're black is because all of these black pods are made out of recycled material. However, that's not as easy as it sounds and we were the company that did it. So a few years ago, Lush came to us and they wanted to make their iconic uh, black plastic pods um, with 100% PCR. And what PCR is, is post-consumer recycled material. Now there's a lot of different types of recycled plastic out there. Uh, PCR is generally one of the hardest to work with. That's because it's used by consumers. So it's actually used by consumers, um, thrown out in their blue box recycling, collected, sorted, and then returned into brand new products. Now this process is actually quite hard. A lot of times when you go to the store and you see a product that's made with 100% recycled material, a lot of times that's PIR, which is post-industrial recycled material, which is not really recycled material. It's basically just unused material from a previous factory. So PCR is the real recycled material and it's much harder to use. Now with PCR, there's levels to it too. For example, there's clean recycled material from the sorting facility all the way up to plastic waste that's been circling in the oceans for the past 20 years. As you may assume that plastic that's been floating in the ocean with the salt and the sun is not as of high quality as virgin material, PIR or PCR. Lush wanted to use both both recycled material and ocean plastics. And that's why they came to us with such a challenge. At Plastic on Plastics, we were able to find partners that would work with ocean cleanup efforts and get a steady stream of ocean plastics. Therefore, we were able to make plastic pellets that look like this. These are just typical plastic pellets made out of both PCR as well as ocean plastics. You see, with injection molds, a lot of people think that you can only shoot pure plastic uh, through an injection mold. That's actually not true. So you can actually shoot you know, wood through an injection mold. We can shoot hemp through the injection mold, um, plastic, uh, glass filled nylon, uh, ocean rope, for example, we can shoot through. So we can actually shoot through a ton of different materials through an injection mold. So the challenge is not actually shooting the uh, material or the raw material through an injection mold once or twice, but actually finding a sustainable solution that would work with the company. So you need you know, a steady stream of consistent ocean plastic material or consistent PCR material. And this is where the challenge lies, as well as making sure that the injection molding machine doesn't clog up with these variants of different materials. So we were able to create a blend for Lush that was made out of 100% PCR material that they could use uh, within their pods. Not only that, but we were also able to create a closed loop solution where customers of Lush could take their pods and when they were done with them, wash them out and bring them back to Lush. This would then be recycled, reground up. So essentially, there's a closed loop solution of this starting off as PCR being used by the consumer and then being made into another black plastic pod. This is actually the first time any cosmetic company used 100% PCR in their plastic products for their packaging. And we were the people to make it happen. In the end, Lush actually ended up winning various sustainability awards for this use of PCR in their products. So I hope you enjoyed the Lush story. If you need help creating a plastic product made with PCR or any waste stream material for that matter, give us a call or visit us at plasconplastics.com and no matter if your product is big or small, we can find a solution for you and find the right material that'll fit that need.